this cabinet crisis originated uh, from the decision of um, a coalition partner, uh, Matteo Renzi's party Italia Viva, to withdraw the, the idea to withdraw his uh, support to the governing coalition led by uh, Giuseppe Conte from uh, you know the Five Star Movement, basically. So uh, the, the situation was critical because, as you know, as you all know, uh, Italy has been hit very hard by the pandemic, both in, both in terms of health and health consequences and public health, and in terms of economic impact. Therefore, uh, the, the last few weeks have been very, very complicated. Now, there, is, there seems to be a way out. The president of the Republic, Mattarella, um, essentially decided to try and... Uh, and appoint and give this uh, this mandate to uh, to Mario Draghi uh, and to try and form a new coalition when he realized that the current political parties were essentially squabbling, bickering. They were not able to find a solution and form a new government. So the idea is that we have this technocratic uh, figure, Draghi, probably one of the most respected um, Italians on the international scene. Uh, which hopefully will be able to form a new government. Uh, now, clearly, there are very high expectations. Um, so what I would say part of the public uh, really, uh, really believes and everybody hopes that, uh, that Draghi will be able to tackle the most pressing issues that the country um, needs to address right now. Part of the public opinion, especially uh, from the FICE affiliated or close to the Five Star movement, is actually very critical of Draghi because they say he's a technocrat. He really embodies, if you think about it, the establishment, the former chief of the ECB. Uh, and we don't really know what his ideas, priorities are so far.